Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to show you how you can improve the value of an Excel pivot table. We're going to go beyond the simple aggregate functions of sum, average, and count. What I'm going to show you is how to use the show value feature in an Excel pivot table. Let's take a look at our challenge. Over here we have one year's worth of data. We have totals for division, state within the division, and then individual products. Our manager has given us a note. The manager wants to see number one, total revenue by product and division. Well, that's a simple calculation in a pivot table. In addition, the manager also wants to see each product as a percentage of all the products sold by each division. And in addition, the manager wants to see each product as a percentage of total company sales. All right, let's create our pivot table. With one cell selected in our data set, go to the Insert tab of the ribbon, and let's just create a pivot table. We'll take the defaults and create the pivot table on its own worksheet. First practice is I like to name it pivot table. All right, now that I've named the sheet pivot table, let's go to work. One thing that I like about pivot tables is that we're not required to add in every field. So I want to see the divisions coming down the rows, but I want to see the product going across on the columns. Now our first request was a simple request. We want to show revenue. We want to show total revenue. Well, there it is, and that's really simple. The other thing that I like about pivot tables is that we can add in multiple calculations. So to see the product as a percentage of product sales by division, we'll add revenue the second time in to the values. And then to show product as a percentage of total company sales, we'll add it in a third time. So we have sum of revenue added three times in to our pivot table. And also notice that when we add a, a calculation when we add the revenue field in more than one time, we get the values. Now, I don't want to see the values going across horizontally. I want to see the values going down vertically. All right, let's go about making this a total revenue field. I want to click the drop-down arrow, Value Field Settings. I'm going to change the name to Total Revenue. And I'll also change the format of the numbers. I'll make it currency with zero decimal places. All right, for our second calculation, what I want to be able to do for sum of revenue two is I want to show each of the products as a percentage of sales by division. So here I'll once again come over to value field settings, and this time I'm going to call this percentage of All right, so now what we're going to do is come over here and on this tab, Show Values As. Show Values has a drop-down. What I want to do is show values as a percentage of the row. The row will show handhelds as a percentage by division of all the products in that division. And the number format is going to be a percentage with two decimal places. Click OK click OK. So here we see that in the Midwest, handhelds were 12.5% of the total sales for all the products in that division. So we have a percentage of row calculation. For our final calculation, what we want to do is we want to see each of these products as a percentage of the column. In other words, as a percentage of total revenue. So let's again go into the value field settings, change the name to percentage percentage of total revenue and come down here instead of summarize by we want to show the values as and in the drop down we want to show the values as a percentage of the column which will be total revenue once again because it's percentage the number format has been changed to percentage and I'll leave it with two decimal places click OK and there you go. With just a few mouse clicks we have added in multiple summations for the revenue. Our first was an aggregate function, the sum of total revenue. Next we added in a calculation to show each product as a percentage of total products 
for that division. So we want to make sure that each of the totals over here for some or the percentage of product sales adds up to 100%. Our third calculation was to show each individual product as a percentage of total company revenue. So there you've seen how to extend your knowledge, ex prove the value of your pivot tables. Activate the tab to show values of, to show percentage of row, percentage of column. And this is one of the many tips that I make available on my DVD, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And I'll see you in the next lesson.